Hello and welcome to Knobs and Switches with the 1st of April 2022 special. We are talking today about the most important music production tool for professionals and hobby musicians, in my opinion. Think about the scenario you are pitching with your jingle for a new commercial and the advertising company really likes your track, but maybe with a different beat and another melody and in a complete different style and please deliver it for the tomorrow 10 o'clock morning meeting. Or the guitar player left you with 75 tracks of his guitar solo and you have now to comp the best bits. Or you have to do two more verses and two more choruses with a singer where even autotune refuses to cooperate. Or you met Dave Gahan from Depeche Mode in a bar and he offers you to do a remix for them. Very cool, but the deadline is tomorrow. So what you really need? A new SSL desk? An EMS high fly effect box? A Schmidt 8 voice synthesizer? Or even David Gilmour's black Stratocaster? No, what you need is a hot mug of good coffee. And this will be made with the Mocker Master KBG. First I have to say, Techniworm was not involved in making this review, so I bought the Mocker Master by myself. I'm really fascinated by coffee makers since the 80s. I can't say exactly why, but maybe it's a combination of design function for things you use every day. And my first coffee maker was uh, the Bodum coffee maker. It was a complete design copy of the 1930 invented Syntrax coffee maker by Wilhelm Wagenfeld, a Bauhaus student. Great design. It's fancy to, to watch, but um, the uh, bodum can often crashes. So in, during the boiling procedure, the can starts to move on the oven and often he falls from the oven or the piston got destroyed by washing it by hand and uh, it wasn't so reliable. The next step was for me the Philips Gourmet. It was again a new design. You have everything in a tower. You have the water, the coffee, the can and it's all in one tower. Really nice and it works well, the coffee tastes good, but then uh, Philips teamed up with Alessi and they came up with the coffee maker that looks like a nuclear reactor and it was fascinating because it's not the normal design of a coffee maker. It's great, great design, very cool and I really love to have it still, but uh, it's often broken, it loses water and after the fourth time that I send it, uh, sent the coffee machine to Philips, they told me they didn't have parts to repair it. The next step was the Roventa CG800 by Jasper Morrison. Great design, everything all again in one box and uh, still the same problem after one year, it starts to lose water and uh, 
I'm not interested anymore in send it back coffee machines to the repair center. So I start again searching for another Philips Gourmet. But my lovely wife researched on Google and told me you have to check out the Mocha Master from Techniform because they built the machine more or less in the same design and the same with the same technique since 1968 and the coffee should taste excellent. You have to check it out. And I've done it. And now I'm a proud owner of the Mocha Master since three years without any repair still working. It's a great coffee machine and we would have now a closer look. Gerard Smeet founded Techniform in 1964. The first Mocha Master was released in 1968 and still since then most of the parts of the Mocha Master are replaceable and changeable and could be ordered separately. Even the unique copper heating element which guarantees you a brewing temperature between 92 and 96 degrees. Let's do a short overview. We have a 1.25 liter water tank. You could remove the lid. We have a removable filter. Also removable is the water outlet and could be could be cleaned and if you are too lazy you could order a new one and uh, cost 16 euros it's possible. That's a can and it's easily to assemble. It's drummers proofed trust me. Let's have a short look on the back. There is no audio out, no USB, no MIDI trio. Of course, it's a coffee machine, yeah? And in the front, we have an on-off switch. And the right switch is for reducing the heating plate temperature. So if you have a full can, you need the full temperature and after a time you could reduce the temperature to prevent your coffee to get bitter. Um, some parts are metal but most of them are plastic but it's well built it's in three years nothing is broken on this machine so it's a good quality at all. For coffee making you need filters and now we are talking you could use different filters in the Mocha Master. Yeah, great. You could use cheap brown recycled paper ones. You could use the expensive white paper filters. Or you could use a very expensive golden permanent filter. Uh, for all I have to say, with an expensive filter you couldn't make a bad coffee better. So you have to buy a good coffee and with a good filter you got this extra cliff of taste, I would say. Techniform um, recommend that you decalcify your coffee machine or your Mocha Master after every 100 brewings. That means if one of these paper boxes are empty it's good to decalcify your machine. Um, yeah, advantages, disadvantages. These filters cost nearly around one euro. This one, the original ones cost six euro and this golden one costs 30 euros. The advantage, you didn't waste paper and uh, the paper filters soaks the grease and oil of the coffee and um, you have this all in your coffee with the permanent filter so it means it should be taste 
better. By the way, Moog missed out on playing this game and came up with his own machine. They should have released the MG110, the Mogger Master. I think it's time now to make coffee. Uh, yeah, first we take a filter. I will take now the expensive white paper ones. You have to fill in water. I have something here prepared for that situation. You have here a scale for cups. Forget this scale. Cups is only for a visit from your mother-in-law. Musicians drink from mugs. So every line is one mug and for every mug you need one spoon of coffee. So I would like to have two mugs. I fill the water in to the second line. Okay, we have to use the lid. It's a good coffee from Guatemala. One, two. Set it up here and off we go. fine. I like my coffee with a touch of milk. Cheers. <sighs> Wonderful. Conclusion. I love it. The Mocha Master makes very good and very tasty coffee. And this since three years for me. I like the 70s design. And I like the idea that all the parts are replaceable. I think the price tag of the Mocha Master is okay. It's in the area of a decent Boss Compact pedal. And I'm not really interested in these fully automatic coffee machines cause they are in the price range of a polyphonic synthesizer. And you need a facility manager or a barista to keep it working. So, Techniform. They have a huge variety of different machines. I think the Mocha Master in this version is available in 21 different colors at the moment. I really love the yellow one because this would fit very well to a yellow 70s tape carousel. And you could get a coffee machine for only one cup if it's necessary. You could get one with a thermos can or you could buy the professional machines with uh, two cans uh, on one machine. So there's a lot of variety and the quality is very good. And I have to say, that's my music production tool. And now I should be able to remix a Depeche Mode song overnight. But unfortunately, I didn't met Dave Gann, so see you.